Hi there, this is Vibs here. In this video, let's talk about the while loop in Java. The while is another statement like for that lets you do something several times. The only difference is that the while loop just requires a single condition and it will continue to run the code inside its block as long as the condition is true. Let's take a look at this with the help of an example. Let's say you want to print hello world four times. The code would look something like this. While i less than four, print hello world. Don't forget to increase the value of i and don't forget to declare i in the first place, which you do outside the while loop. So let's analyze this in detail. First, i is going to be zero. Zero less than four, the condition is true. Therefore, the code inside the while loop will run which would print hello world and increase the value of i by one, making it one. Now, once again, the while loop will check the condition one less than four is true. It will once again execute the code inside the body of the while loop that prints hello world and increases the value of i by one, making it two. Once again, check the condition two less than four is true. Hello world is printed i becomes 3. 3 less than 4 is true. Hello world is printed, i becomes 4. But now, 4 less than 4 is false. And therefore, the while loop will stop running code inside its body. And this is how a while loop works in a simple way. So what's the difference between the for loop and the while loop? A while loop and a for loop can do anything and everything. The only difference is when you know how many times you want to run something, you would generally use the for loop. And when you don't know how many times you want to run something, then you would in general use the while loop. However, here I did know that I want to print hello world four times and I'm still using the while loop so that I can demonstrate to you how it works. Now let's take a look at another example of while loop where you have to print hello world till the condition becomes false. So I have a boolean variable condition whose value is true and I have initialized int i to zero. While the condition is true, this body will execute printing hello world, incrementing i by one, but I have an if condition inside the while loop that checks if i is four. If i is four, then it turns the condition to false, which means the while loop won't run anymore. Let's understand this in detail. So initially I have i is zero and condition is true. So the code is run inside the body of the while loop, which prints hello world, increases the value of i by one. And it also checks if this if condition is going to become true. Remember that i is one, one equals equals four will be false. And therefore the if condition will not execute. So let's go ahead to the next round. Once again, we check if the condition is true, which of course is true. We will print hello world and then we'll increase the value of i by one, making it two. Now the if condition checks if two equals equals four. Nope. So once again, the while loop runs, printing hello world, making i as three and then checks three equals equals four. Now this is also false. The loop runs once again and there's your hello world, i becomes four. But remember that at this point, four equals equals four. So the condition becomes false. And once that happens, the while loop stops running. And this is how a while loop will be used in two different scenarios. Now the for loop can also do this kind of stuff, but it is more preferred to use the while loop in such situations. So here is a list of things that you guys should Google after watching this video. Be sure to search for Java while loop, while versus for loop, and read the relevant posts on Stack Overflow and other websites. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.